Those were some great ideas, second grade. Here are some of the things I heard. I heard someone say green and, and I'm gonna make my little and symbol, orange. I heard someone else say boom. I saw someone else said crash. I saw that someone else said, it looks like a flower, kind of like a flower opening, like a flower. Someone said that maybe it was the 4th of July. And somebody else who's near and dear to my heart said that the Rays won the World Series. Maybe, I'm pretty sure we'd shoot some fireworks off then. So I'm gonna add that, Rays won the World Series. Never know, maybe they did and that's why we're shooting off fireworks. So those are some really great key details that you were thinking about, about that topic of fireworks. And today as we're thinking about main topic and key details, we're going to think about them like a second grader does. We're going to think about how we can put those key details together in groups that are alike and we're going to call them the focus. So that's how a second grader thinks about key details. Here's our goal for today. Our learning goal for today is to say I can determine the focus of specific paragraphs in the text. Now, there are some words in that that I wanna make sure you understand. The first one is the word paragraph. Now, you might have seen before and noticed that when we read an article, it's broken into sections. Those sections are called paragraphs. A paragraph is just a part of something written that's made up of sentences about an idea related to the main topic. So each of those paragraphs, each of those sections is about the same idea and that idea is related to the big main topic. And that's what we mean when we say focus. A focus is something that's being paid attention to or studied or discussed. So it's what that paragraph is paying attention to, the part of the topic that that paragraph is paying attention to. That's what we mean when we say focus. So I want you to just go like this for focus and this for paragraph, ready? The focus is what we're paying attention to in the paragraph or that section that's all about the same idea about the topic. Let's jump in. When we're trying to find the focus of a paragraph, we can ask ourselves this question. What part of the topic is this paragraph talking about? We can use our circle map to help us determine the focus of a paragraph. When we do that, we look at the key details and group them together by thinking about how they are the same. Let's take a look at our fireworks circle map. As I'm looking about these key at these key details, I'm trying to think, how can I group them together by ideas that are the same? So as I'm looking at our key details, I notice that some of these are talking about how the, the fireworks look. The fireworks are green and orange. So I'm gonna circle that one in pink. And they look like a flower. So I'm going to circle that one in pink. And then on the side of my circle map, I'm going to say why I circled them. So I circled them because that's what a firework looks like. So I'm going to write down here what a firework looks like. And I wrote that in pink because that's what I circled those in. So all of these details go together because they all talk about what a firework looks like. Let me take another color and think about some of the other details. I noticed that this one says boom and this one says crash. Those are kind of the same, aren't they? They're connected or they go together because they both talk about how fireworks sound. So that would be the focus of these details. I'm going to use my blue again and I'm going to write how fireworks sound. 
because that is how those details are connected. And then finally, I have my last set of details, 4th of July and Rays won the World Series. Well, you might think, how in the world are those connected? But remember, we were asking why someone might shoot off fireworks. Well, that's how these are connected. Maybe they shot them off because it was the 4th of July, or maybe they shot them off because the Rays won the World Series. So those are connected because they tell why someone would shoot off fireworks. So I'm gonna write that using my orange because I circled them in orange. Why someone shoots off fireworks. So readers, that's how we can determine the focus of the key details. We looked for how they might be the same, we circled them in the same color, and then we wrote the focus or the reason why we circled them, how they were alike. Readers, we can do this work with our informational text as well. Here's the circle map that I created yesterday when reading You and the Law. As I went through and read pages four through 13 like you did, I added more ideas. What I need to do now is to look at these key details and group them by thinking about how they're the same. I'm gonna use my blue marker for the first group. I can see that this key detail says laws protect us. And this key detail says laws keep us safe. And I know that those are connected because they tell us why we need laws. So I'm gonna circle those with the same color. And under my circle map, I'm going to write why we need laws. I could continue to look at my different key details to see, is there anything else that tells us why we need laws? And then I would circle those with my blue color. Once I have all the key details for that same focus, I can pick a different color. And I can find other key details that are connected, circle them in the same color, and then write the way that they're connected at the bottom. This is called the focus of that paragraph, how the key details are connected. All right, readers, it's your turn to try this work. Do you remember how yesterday I told you to save your circle map? That's why, because you're gonna look at the circle map you created yesterday. You're going to think, how do these key details connect? Reread each of the details and group the details that seem to be the same. You can do this in one of two ways. You can do it like I did, where you group each by circling it with a different color. Remember how I had blue was for why we needed laws. And then I was gonna use orange for another group. And I was gonna use pink for another group. If you don't have any colors that you can use, that's okay, here's another idea. Make a symbol for each group and draw the symbol next to the detail that goes in that group. So maybe if I didn't have blue, maybe I would have put a triangle next to all of the details that went together because it told us why we needed laws. And maybe instead of using orange, I could have put a smiley face next to the other group of details that go together. That's just another way that you can group the details. Whichever way you do it, after you group your details, you want to give each group a name. Like when I gave my blue group the name, why we need laws. Give it a name that shows why they all go together. And if you still have time with your independent reading, I want you to reread You and the Law. It's gonna be on the next Nearpod slide and see if there are other details that you can add to the group. So I might reread and see if there are other reasons why we need laws. All right, if you have time, you can continue to do this with your independent reading, but this is a pretty big job, so you may not have time and that's okay. When you have finished your independent reading time, head back to the Nearpod slide so that you can reflect on your lesson. Have fun readers.